This is the GHA's COVID testing lab at the University of Gibraltar. If you have symptoms, you'll likely be tested at the COVID drive-in test center and your tests will go to the hospital lab. But if your test is part of the frontline sample or the mobile test facility, your tests will come here. As the months have gone on and the GHA's reaction to the virus has adapted, the amount of work done by this lab has increased, as has its recruitment needs. Now we have a team of uh, eight scientists and uh, most of those are Gibraltarian students uh, who are on their summer holidays and we're incredibly uh, grateful and proud and impressed. Of, I mean, they've, they've done an absolutely amazing job. I'm really, really, really proud of them. I think everyone now is trying to play their part into helping in whatever way they can during this pandemic. So I definitely thought, you know, if my skills could be used somewhere, I'd definitely come. And because I was an undergrad, they kind of, so there's two labs, there's this lab, which is the dirty lab where the samples come in, and then around the back there's a clean lab, and they wanted to keep undergrad student, students over there. So I was there for the first few weeks, and then because, you know, they thought we were doing so well or whatever, now we've been allowed to come in here and we actually work with a sample ourselves in the hood, you know, um, trying to see if we detect any coronavirus in any of the samples, so yeah. Hey, so my second year at university ended quite prematurely. I came back to Gibraltar from the UK at the end of April and then mid-May I got an email from Daniel Casaglia asking if this would be something that I would be interested in and uh, having that background at uni I thought that it was definitely something that would benefit me loads. In my second year I focused quite a lot on microbiology and virology so when I heard that there was a chance to help out in the work here carrying on with coronavirus I thought this is a fantastic opportunity for me. So I finished my um, medical year, we were doing it all online um, and I was in touch with uh, one of the people that was working in the lab and she mentioned that we might, she might need some extra people to come over um, and because I've already, uh, I've got a master's degree in molecular biology, I kind of had some of the relevant skills needed. So I came over in, at the end of June and it's been an amazing experience. It's been really nice to be able to use those skills I thought I would never use again because I've made the switch into medicine now. Um, so I've been doing my PhD in the University of Glasgow and as the lockdown started to come in slowly but surely our lab was turned more into rather than a research lab a kind of COVID testing lab. Um, so all the equipment that I was using f to do my studies uh, was donated to the NHS. Uh, so when the rules eased and I was able to come back home um, I asked if anyone needed any help in the lab and yeah so I ended up here. He's one of our scientists, he's in London. What started off as a summer job here at the University of Gibraltar labs may be extended for a little while longer for some of these students because of the uncertainty in the UK and the fact that many of the universities haven't actually told them whether they will be accepting them back yet. So some of them may stay on for a little bit longer. Yeah, so we don't really know what's going on, especially my university hasn't given any concrete start date or just any, we don't really know what's going on at all. And so it's something I'm really going to have to wait until the last minute to make a decision. But definitely something to consider would be me just taking my placement year this year and perhaps just staying on here for another year, you know, gaining more experience. So originally I was only meant to do this for a month or two as like a summer thing, but I was meant to be doing a placement year anyway. And I had some difficulty, obviously, because of the pandemic that really shattered some of my hopes. But um, I had an opportunity here and I was asked if I wanted to stay on for a few more months so I've decided to stay here for as long as the lab is open. So I'm planning on going back to the UK to finish my degree in September. Uh, I don't know yet what that will look like, how much time we'll get uh, in hospital. All of our lectures will definitely be online. So I plan to stay here for as long as I can do. Um, I'm keeping an ear out to see whether or not we will actually be expected to be back. So for at the moment I've been told that I can't return back to the lab. I've been granted an extension so that in the future when I can, I can go back and complete my research um, and my studies. Uh, but yeah, for now it looks like I'll be here for the, at least the short term. So. In today's COVID-ridden world, everything is uncertain. But amidst this uncertainty, this group of students have found a place where their skills and knowledge can be put to good use. How long this will be needed for, no one knows. But this visit to the uni also helps to put faces to the people who are working day in, day out to deliver hundreds of test results at a time of great need.